Hello everyone, I am Shadha Shiro and welcome to Sadar Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn API. What is the API? Before starting a, a Java web applications, we need to know uh, some basic concepts. In those basic concepts, API is the one of the concept. Now, what is the API? API means application programming interface. It is the, it is the base for the programmers to develop a certain software technology based software applications every software technology used a built-in apis using these apis the pro the programmer can develop a user defined apis and a software applications in c language api is a set of functions which comes in the form of a header files in C++ language, API is a set of functions, classes, which comes in the form of a header files. In the Java language, API is a set of classes, interfaces, enums, and annotations, which comes in the form of a packages. Now, I can explain some of the examples of APIs. AWT API. If you see the AWT API, the first API is AWT API. The AWT API working with a java.awt, java.awt.events packages. Now, the AWT API is available in java.awt package under java.awt.events package. It is the one of the API. The next package is Reflection API. The Reflection API works with java.lang.reflect package. It is used to do write the programs using the reflections. Now JDBC API. JDBC API. The JDBC API working with java.sql package and java x.sql package. The next one, the next API is utility API. The utility API work with java.util package means, for example, if you see collections, all collections are available in java.util package this package is utility package we can see the three different types of apis in java the first one is there is a three different types of apis those are first one is built-in api The first one is built-in APIs. The built-in APIs given by the Sun Microsystem with JDK software. Whenever we are installing the JDK software, automatically built-in APIs are installed into your computer. That is called built-in APIs. The second type of API is user-defined APIs. User-defined APIs. The user-defined APIs given by the programmer. The programmer is uh, written on those type of APIs are called user-defined APIs. The next one is third-party APIs. The third-party APIs given by the third-party organizations. Organizations other than Sun Microsystem and programmers. The third party APIs is given by the given by the third party vendors other than Sun Microsystem and their programmers. If you see for example the third party APIs are Java Zoom API Java Zoom API. It is also one of the third party vendor given by the Java Zoom organization and download, downloadable from javazoom.net. Generally, the Java related APIs comes as in the form of jar files like Java style zip files. Those are available in Java home directory. Whenever you're installing the software, automatically it comes with the 
java installation folder it is available in i can show you where it is available come here see java jari lip these are the all built-in APIs these are all built-in APIs rt.file is represent all built-in APIs in the JDK software this is the it can be contains all built-in APIs are available in this JDK software the company whose creates a software is called as a software vendor company those are Software vendor company, those are IBM, Sun Microsystem, Oracle Corporation, and etc. The organization who gives their requirements to the software development company is called as a client organization. For example, Citibank, SBI Count, SBI Bank, APSRTC, etc. All those the, all those things are the client organizations why because the client organizations are giving a requirement to develop the softwares a company who takes the support of softwares given by a software vendor companies and develop the projects for a client organizations is called as a software development company for example infosys vipro polaris tcs all those are companies are the software development companies a company who take the support of a software given by a software vendor companies and developed by the projects for the client organizations is called as a software development company those companies are for example if you see infosys Wipro, polaris uh, tcs etc all these companies are the software development companies next software projects there is a two different types of software projects is available two types of software projects there is a two types of software projects are called the first one is software product The first one is the so, so is the software product. It is the one type of software project. Uh, for example, if you go the software product Tally, WinZip, NetBeans, these are the desk type. Uh, these are the software products. And and uh, second one is service sector. Service sector product. the second one is service sector product if you go with the service sector products um, bank apps bank apps and uh, uh, ticket reservation apps IR, IRCTC these are all the service sector products why? Because bank is providing uh, some services to the users. That is called service sector products. If the project is uh, designed, if the project is uh, designed and uh, developed exclusively for one client organizations by gathering the requirements, then it is called as a service sector projects if a project is developed based on a common requirements and given by the multiple clients then it is called as a software products if you see eclipse netbeans my eclipse and notepad plus plus all these are the software products means the product is used by the multiple users or the multiple clients these are called software product and coming to the service sector projects for example if you go with the if your project is designed and developed exclusively for one client organizations by gathering the requirements if you go with the sbi application net banking that is the 
one client it is given uh, gathering uh, requirements gathering by the SBA only it is only useful for SBA clients that is called service sector projects for the service sector projects client organizations will be there before a developing of the project for the software product client organizations will be there after developing the after developing of the product thank you so much watching this video hope this lesson helpful to you keep watching our lessons keep writing to us do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.